Hey guys, so today is the beginning of a very big day for me. Might not be that dramatic to most of you, but to me I've never done something this drastic, so I'm a little bit nervous. Today I'm gonna go get my lips done for the first time and I thought I would vlog the whole process. I know a lot of people don't like talking about this stuff, but this is something that I would genuinely be really interested in watching. And I like to keep it real with you guys. If I get anything done, I'll be the first to admit it. And I've always wanted to do this. Lip injections are temporary and it's something that I've always wanted to try, so I figure why not? So it's later in the day, I'm about to leave, but I wanted to quickly show you guys my lips without any makeup and explain kind of why I'm getting my lips done. These are my natural lips with absolutely no makeup. They're very small, as you can tell, but they've never really bugged me. Now I know you're thinking, if your lips don't bug you, why are you getting them done? So let me explain myself. I think I've talked about it a few times on this channel, but I've always wanted to get my nose done. When I was six years old, a kid threw a basketball in my face. I feel like I have a really strong profile on the side, and I don't like that. I want a more feminine profile. I'm getting my lips done because I want more facial harmony and symmetry before I get my nose done. Now, getting your nose done is really expensive. It's gonna put me back about ten to fifteen thousand dollars so in the meantime I wanted to get my lips done to balance out the symmetry of my face I also find that when I smile my chin is pretty prominent so I just wanted to balance this whole region out so as you can see from the side my lips are really small compared to my nose and I just kind of want to balance it out. I also want to note this isn't sponsored at all. I'm paying for this with my own money. And as always, don't feel like you need to meet society's standards. No one in my life has ever told me my lips are small or my nose is big except myself. So that's how I know I'm doing it for the right reasons. This is something I'm insecure about. No one's ever commented on it and I just want to get it fixed. So why not? I feel like I have a really clear understanding of what to expect and I know it's going to be painful, but I have a pretty high pain tolerance. So let's get into it. So I'm not nervous, I'm excited, and I'm ready for these lips to be a little plumper. I'm an idiot, and I forgot my camera, but it's okay because honestly, I think if I watched the footage back of me getting my lips done, I would have probably passed out. But this is two hours later. I got my lips done at four. It's now around six o'clock. I feel like I sound really groggy and really tired because frankly I am. I showed her the picture which you're seeing now and this picture is of me with my lips aligned with a ton of makeup and contouring the crap out of them and I basically said I just wanted more facial symmetry and I wanted my lips to look more balanced without makeup and so far this is the end result. I really feel like she accomplished that. Now I did put some lip gloss on because my lips were feeling so dry and they're bruising really badly so I put some purple on to hopefully disguise that. In terms of the pain, I was really shocked because it didn't hurt at all. I've read so many articles about what the pain could be like and I've honestly had pimples that have popped before and I had facials that have hurt worse than this. So whatever numbing stuff they used, it really did the job. I didn't feel anything. The only times I felt anything were little little pricks down here and a little bit on my upper lip but that was it again I've had pimples like on my upper lip right here that hurt worse to pop but this is my lips after also if I do it again let me know if you guys want me to film actually inside the office because I personally always skip that part of the YouTube videos when people film that but I know some people like it so let me know I am so wrecked right now <laughs> First of all, look how swollen I am. I feel like I look like an Instagram girl, but like not in a good way. I've heard that the day after is always the worst swelling, so I'm just gonna take it easy today. I'm not gonna put on any makeup. I'm just gonna keep slathering my lips in Vaseline. I feel like I look like Goldie Hawn in First Wives Club when she walks out of the plastic surgeon's office. It's like, I look so swollen. My lips aren't that sore. I'm not in that much pain. I just feel really swollen. I don't know if I just have a really high pain tolerance or if lip injections just really aren't that bad, but so far so good. Tomorrow I'm getting brunch with a friend, so I'll update you guys then because I'm gonna put on a full face of makeup, so we'll see how I look. All right guys, it's day three, but I'm feeling so much better. I put on a full face of makeup because I've just felt really gross the last few days and I wanted to see how everything would look with a full glam. And while my lips are really swollen, my friend didn't even notice until I brought it up that I got my lips done. So yay, that's a good sign. So I heard that it takes about a week for your injections to settle and for the swelling to go down. Obviously I'm still very swollen. 
So I'm gonna check in with you guys in a week and wrap this video up and let you know my final thoughts. All right guys, so it's been eight days since I got my lip injections and this is the final result. As you can see, I have no more swelling, I'm talking normally, I can smile, and I'm pretty much back to normal. I think we live in a society where injections are glorified and that's not something I wanna do on my channel. You should only do something if you really wanna do it for yourself. And I know some people are extremely against plastic surgery and injections, and I just wanna say, it's your body, your choice. It's not your room to judge anyone for what they want to do. So, my final thoughts are I am so happy I went through with it and did it. It was so much less painful and invasive than I thought it would be. I'm just really happy with how my lips turned out. I feel like they look extremely natural, and I think that's the biggest fear that people have going into it, is the mystery of what your lips are gonna look like. Because so many people People just see Kylie Jenner and all these Instagram influencers and they don't realize how natural and subtle lip injections can be if you go to the right person. Lip injections can vary in price depending on the doctor you're going to and the filler you're getting. Now my lip injections were $650 which is a lot of money. I really wanted to make sure that I was researching the best of the best and I was willing to spend a lot of money because it's something that I didn't want to cheap out on. If I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do it right. Now if you are in the Bay Area or San Francisco Go. I highly recommend the nurse I went to. Her name is Lauren and her Instagram handle is at sfbeautybylauren. I'm going to go on ahead and link her down below and I want to disclaim this before anyone says it. I paid full price with my own money, researched her on real self. This isn't sponsored, discounted, nothing. She gave me exactly what I wanted and as you can see my lips are full but they're still really natural which was really important to me. I did not want to walk around looking like an Instagram influencer. You'll notice at the beginning of the video I did say I got lip injections because I wanted to balance out the symmetry of my nose and my chin. I feel like I have a really prominent chin. You can see when I'm talking, when I smile. Now here are my before and after pictures. As you can see, all I did was my lips, but look at my chin in the before and after picture. And it's insane that something as simple as lip injections can completely change the balance and symmetry of your face. Please let me know if you have any other questions about lip injections in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video.